So let's begin this segment with Ray. You write in your book about Reverend Wright. And it was only after, and you point this out, it was only after Wright attacked President Obama in Philadelphia that the president repudiated him. And you made that clear in the book. So for years, Obama was a close friend of Jeremiah Wright. We all know that he's a radical preacher. Then there's Al Sharpton with a defined history of racial provocation and tax problems, big time tax problems, and Barack Obama has embraced him. I don't understand any of that. Can you explain it? Well, Reverend Wright was, uh, was his uh, minister, and obviously the things you, you, you uh, uh, call him whatever you call him, and obviously some of the things he said were incendiary, but that wasn't the relationship that the president had with him. That wasn't the, uh, that weren't, that, those weren't the sermons that the president uh, heard. In Church. Those weren't the sermons that he regularly uh, delivered. And, you know, you, you should also point out he was a honored U.S. Marine. He was, a, he's a, 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 he was an internationally recognized uh, uh, religious uh, leader. So, uh, you know, I, I think you can characterize him one way or another. But, but you uh, characterize him in your own What book. the president said, what the president uh, did was he, 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 he uh, criticized and very, very clearly, uh, the things that Reverend Wright said. But only after. Only no, 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 after. Bill. I was there in Philadelphia yeah, you when he criticized him. Right. Uh, but it was only no, after was... Jeremiah Wright came out and called Obama a flack. No, it wasn't. And again, you got your ordering wrong. He didn't I'm reading call your book. That. I'm taking it right out of there. No, you're not. I wrote the book. You're not taking it out of there, and, and you're not taking it out of events. And I say this respectfully. Sure. He gave a speech in Philadelphia after Reverend Wright's comments became known. Reverend Wright That's then attacked exactly what him. I'm saying. Then Reverend Wright attacked him for the speech he made in Philadelphia uh, later in a tour around the country and said and, 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 and repeated some of the offensive things. It wasn't the attack on Obama. He repeated some of the offensive things for which uh, Obama had criticized him. And at that point, uh, the president said, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not going to uh, continue this. Right. And he, uh, and Let's he get to left Sharpton. that church. Sharpton, you know, everybody knows the resume, all right? Why? Why would the, why, and I, I have to say, I was invited by the president to the Brothers Keeper uh, um, announcement at the White House. I was honored to be there. I think it's a great program, the Brothers Keeper program. She's Sharpton, okay? And, and I'm saying to myself, okay, it's okay for him to be there, but now... It, it's morphed into Sharpton's there 80 more than 80 times. He's got a signed picture that says uh, to my fellow uh, warrior for justice. I mean, are you kidding me with Al Sharpton? Bill, uh, you know, you don't decide and I don't decide uh, who uh, leaders in a community are. Al Sharpton is widely regarded as a leader within the African-American community. Do you think the He's president respects leader. him? Excuse Do you think me? the president respects Al Sharpton? Well, I think he respects the, uh, his his leadership on some of these issues, on these civil rights issues. Yes, I do. He owes millions of dollars to the IRS. His organizations owe millions of dollars. Is there any other American in the White House who owes millions of dollars to the IRS? I don't know. I haven't gone through the tax returns. But of isn't people that strange? Coming to the White House. Isn't that strange? Uh, no, I don't think it's strange. There are people who've had look. Uh, Donald Trump uh, uh, has, I, I'm sure, been in the. White House. He's gone through bankruptcy proceedings. He's in, had financial uh, problems. That didn't in, impeach him from being a visitor in the but White House. But it wasn't a debt to the federal government. See, I can't understand the Al Sharpton thing. I really can't understand it. There are so many other good civil rights leaders, not polarizing, not anti-cop, not tax dodgers. So many. And, and, and why this guy has reached that pinnacle, I don't know. All right, let's get to uh, the economy. <laughs> yeah, you'll, let's do you'll that. well remember this soundbite. Mm -hmm. Roll it. Okay.